I have a terrible curse. Hey, I can't it's Roxy here, here and welcome to time. Roxy Plays Games. And welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Oh, right, so we are currently see. here in Hogmeade. Bring up the map. <clears throat> so we are right down the bottom end here in Hogsmeade and we have got a few people that we need to go and see and I think the first one might be here, Tomes and Scrolls, I think it's one of them, if I'm not mistaken. Unforgivable curses. Uh, yeah, Tomes and Scrolls. So basically all I have done uh, since the last episode, i just bring this up, is I've gone round and I've done a few um, of the pages, so I've found a few of them. So I found that one, or I've done that one, and I've done this one, and I'm currently on 12 out of 15 of this one. So, yeah, I've done a few. Um, what else have I done? I've looted a few crates or chests and got some items. So what I will do is quickly upgrade them. So that's what we've currently got on, no value. That is a plus 6, that's plus 10. Um, so this one's the better one, even though this is a blue and it's got a socket on it, by the time I'm actually able to socket it, I will probably find another pair of gloves that are much better. So we'll go for these ones and then the rest can be sold. And change the visuals to these ones. Could have probably done this off screen, but at least you're getting to see what I'm doing. Plus 9, plus 15. These are all defence. Again, this one got a socket, but I'm going to go for that one. All of these are going to get replaced within no time at all, so I'm not really too fussed. 13 defence. Let's change the look. I don't really like type of hat. Yeah, got to have a wizard hat if we're a wizard, aren't we? Uh, nothing in uh, 10 and 12. Again, let's change the look to this one. And then final one. <clears throat> 14. Go for that one. Nah. Right, that's me done in there. Uh, collections. Got a few collections in here. As you can see. I'll um, hover over them for a few seconds so you can uh, read and pause if you wish. Glad Rags Mannequin. Mounted Hog's Head. Exploding Bonbons. Hindgist of Woodcroft. Fizzing Fizzbee, uh, Whizbees, sorry. Honey Dukes, Magical Male, Scriven Shaft Cats, Tea Shop Decor, and Waterwell. I think that's probably the last one. Uh, yeah, because these are all Hogwarts. So it's split up into different sections. We've got Hogwarts, we've got the Highlands. And obviously Hogsmeade. Didn't actually hit clock that the first time I looked at these. But we got 30 out of 150. So we're making progress. Uh, and appearances. We've got some new glasses and a new hat. So these are all things that we can currently change. And then additional content we've got down here. This is stuff that I got with the... Um, digital deluxe version right I think 
that is ever sent in here. Right, let's crack on with uh, doing what we need to do. An inquiring mind. Revelio. Oh, there's something somewhere. Where are you? Through here? There's an eyeball chest and a normal one. You in here? Oh, there you are, there you are, there you are. Revelio. Enchanted staircase. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda student, I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here, Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will <clears throat> soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Right, first thing I'm going to do is sell my gear. Because one, it's taking up space, and two... Some of it will give me some money, not that one. A pleasure doing business with you. And it's not a lot, but as they say, every little helps. Seventeen hundred. Uh, we need a potting table with a small pot and a small potion station. Nothing like finding just the right thing. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. I think I will look, but I won't be buying anything just yet. But things that we're going to need... Um, I'm not sure about beast yet, because that's something I haven't actually got onto. Uh, chopping station, I'm not sure. Chopping station. Uh, pieces of plant byproducts. Okay. okay. Um, cotton table with a large pot. I think we're going to need one of them for large plants. Popping pot. Definitely want these. These things here basically every uh, I, don't know, I think like every 12 minutes or 40 minutes something like that uh, give you a, a spell or a potion um, for free all you've got to do is just put them down I think you can have three of them down at a time so that's something I want to get later on obviously I only need to buy this once you don't need to buy it three times you buy it once and then you can put down as many as you're able to put down Button table with a medium. Button table with two medium, three medium, three small. So I want this five medium. Uh, uh, sorry, five small, three medium, and the large. So what's that? Want that? Or can we can get that now, but I don't don't need it now. So that's four thousand. 
um, 6,500 we're going to need to buy those three and then we can plunk them down and it requires some let me know if there's anything stone. else I can do to help I think it's moonstone that we need to put them down Revelio. Kidwin's Precurious Cauldrons. <laughs> 14 out of 15. <coughs> Excuse me. Go in here. Revelio. Anything of interest? I think I might have already been in here and cleaned it out. Um, right, next one. Uh, Ollie Banders. Did we need to go there? Yes, we did. You can stop it. <coughs> Revelio. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um. Just a moment, please. Uh, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Hmm. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm. Perhaps... Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, oh, oh my, oh goodness. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Spiral dark grey wood type of uh, unicorn her core type flexibility unyielding wand length 13 and 3 quarter inches. Right, let's grab that then. What do you think? <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Beautiful. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. 
The old connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Why, thank you. No mat's hat. Revelio. Right, we got Pippins and Magic Neep. where we are. Sprint, sprint, spint, which is sporting needs. Right, that's where we're going to get our brooms when we unlock that. Right, we need pippins. A magic leap. Okay, so they're both kind of <coughs> going in that way. Perfect door. What's this one over here? Wizard wear. Hairdressers. Brood and Peck, our oh, beasts, and then we've got Dogweed and Deathcap for our seeds. Oh, oh, I should have marked that actually. Where are we going? Uh, we are going to Pippins. Uh, wait for it. Revelio. Like it's already oh, right there's one flying outside. Go, 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 go. Where's it gone? Akio! 15 of 15. Thank you. Revelio. Still more somewhere. Whiskey, hey. Revelio. Sounds like it's in that direction. Back here, drop that. Ooh, 48 gold, nice. Eighty-nine gold. Wow. Beautiful. So this is why it's worth exploring. You just never know what you're gonna find. Oh. Revelio. Rebellion. Outside the door. Yep, there it is. That's Uncle's Joke Shop. And we are level 9. Nice. Uh. There's another one here somewhere. Where are you? 
Revelio. that that bloke uh, threw at the very beginning of episode one stunk. Rebellion. So yeah, don't presume that there's only one um, page in a building. There could be multiple pages. So I've just found out. Welcome to G. Pippin's Potions. Harry Pippin at your service. Revelio. Hello, Mr. Pippin. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, You'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Uh, yes, please. What can I do for you today? Right, let's have a look. Um, Endurus, Endurus, potion recipe, recipe of potion that causes a rocky film to develop on a consumer's skin, helping to protect them from harm, okay? A wise decision. Thank you. Wigan World Potion Recipe. Recipe for a healing potion. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. No game would be without a um, healing potion. Right, what we've got here? Focus potion. Uh, Thunder Brew, powerful damage potion. I want to try that out. Um, I've not seen it or tried it myself, but I've heard of it. Invisibility potion, definitely. Maxima potion, recipe for a potion that increases the drinker's spell damage for a limited amount of time. Yeah, that might be worthwhile. Cool. Um, let's sell you 60 bucks very good never hurts to keep my stocks i hope to see you again farewell for now uh, i'm sure you will see me again revelio right we've got a page right there thank you very much j pippin's potions Don't worry, I'm not going to look for for the rest of the 25. If I s here and see one on my way around, then I'll go for it. But otherwise, um, I'll do them again off camera. Revelio. Because it's certainly something that's time consuming, but at the same time, useful. Oh. Oh, there's a chest down here. Oh. I'll grab this. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Let's have a look at 
this hut. Um, oh, it's this one here. So that is an upgrade for defense. Let's put that on. Bit of a dodgy one. I'm actually going to change my appearance and have no hat showing until I get a hat that I actually like the look of. Um, actually, let me think about this. Um, go back. Yeah, we will go for hood on. Yeah, that'll do for now. Until I find a hat that I like. I want a wizardy type hat because I'm a wizard at the end of the day. But I want one that's going to suit my uh, character. Rebellion. That's lots. Oh. Well, hello there. Sheep. Well, hello there. Oh, hello there. Please come in. Oh, I've just seen a. Uh, the magic neat cart. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But... What we'll say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Um, maybe. First things first. Sell items. You have a um, good head for business, haven't you? It's always a good idea to keep selling your stuff as and when you can, because when you're out and about looting, if your inventory gets full, then... Um, you can't pick up more items, so you then you end up having to destroy stuff to pick up other stuff. So try and keep them empty. Uh, there is a quest. I think it's Merlin's quest line, where you can upgrade your inventory size. Right, destiny seeds grow destiny in small pots. Uh, purchase them. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest. I'd wager. <clears throat> Right. At some point, we will. Well, want to that's everything. Better go and find Natty. We want to get um, some flux weed is in large pots. Knots grass is in small. Mallow wheat is in small. Uh, and sh shrivel fig is in medium. Fertilizer. Okay. Cool. No one can say I don't keep a stack shelf. Revelio. Right, Natty, where are you? <coughs> I'm almost stuck on. Hello, Nathy. <coughs> ah, I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able to pick a favourite shop. <laughs> we should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Draw it away from the building! Away from the village! 
we weakening him at all? Keep up, this. We have to wear him down. Protego, stupefy. to beat him at his own game. Potato! I like it! Do more of it! Stupefy! <laughs> Look! He's faltering! Took him long enough. We need to make sure he stays that way! Expel him! Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Officer Singer, hey? Um, right, let's get some repair all done, shall we? We've got seven bits oh, to do. Oh, hello there. A, a moment, if you would. I what? will see what he wants. Uh, yeah, you go see what he Revelio. wants. Revelio. I thought I seen something glimmering over here. Glad rags wizard were. Okay. <clears throat> Repairer. Lucky they didn't do more damage. I mean, it's a nice little. a game, it's not just all about killing and destroying, a little bit of repair roll, what's going on? One less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repair roll. Alright, we've got two more to go, there's one. Yeah, good as new. The last one. So, oh, yeah, it'll be that building that's in pieces here. Yeah, I, I like it. I really do. It's just there's lots of things going on, isn't there? And it's not just just a case of. Mm, Bash, uh, mash and bash your buttons to kill stuff. All the we spells were just talking and about potions you. and Revelio. All the bits going on. There's an eyeball chest there, and there's a little. What was that little bag? That's outside, isn't it? Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizardwear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? What are you giving me, mate? Plenty for your perusal today. 
Take your time. Um, well, it's not great, but it's free. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad... You will see the new piece of gear. Time to equip it. Well, I don't really want to, but... Uh, your current defense and offense are displayed at the top right of the screen. So basically, I've gone through all of this and now it's telling me all about this stuff, which is cool. That's fine. Now it's telling me to equip it, but I'm not going to. See, there are some upgrades, however, these won't be upgrades by the time I've uh, looted. I suspect you have a sharp eye for facts. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? Sounds like a good idea. Wonderful. Just down this way, then. Right. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. At your leisure. I actually quite like this cult, to be honest. Um, obviously, I'm going to... Uh, where are we here? I'm obviously going to put this one back on, because it's better. However... What I think I'm going to do... Um, do I want to wear that? I mean, it's plain. That one's really cool. Nope. Nope. Uh, nope. That one's very... Uh, looking uh, let's go for this one uh, I don't mind this one uh, that's what do these while I'm here claim reward Music's very chill as well, isn't it? Enemies, armored troll. I'll leave that up there for you to uh, have a quick read through if you wish. Song called Chief Panster Cult. Got anything else? Nope. Um, I wish there was an option to sort out new stuff. Um, so you didn't have to kind of go looking through to see what's new and what's not. I know it's you can see it when you're kind of moving around, but it'd be nice if you could sort it so that all the new stuff that you've uh, viewed, uh, uh, that you've picked up or unlocked would be at the top, as an example, or only new stuff would, could show. Uh, that would be a nice addition. Um, I'm sure that no one from the developers will be watching this to, uh, to even pick up on that. But yeah, if you agree with it, please do put it in the comments. Along with a like and a subscribe. Would be appreciated. <coughs> what we've got here, so we've got the potion table and the potting table. Lots of stuff there. I mean, it's handy to see all these numbers because then it gives you an idea of how much you've got. Like, there's 140 um, conjurations, there's 88 appearances, 67 enemies, 150 pages. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. What's this one? 75 traits. Right, that's all done. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming... Revelio. 
and a powerful witch. Good one to know. Um, right, let's get out of here. Follow Natty to the three broomsticks. Go on then, Natty. Let's go to the the, um, the broomsticks of places. You can run if you want, you know. Or we can do that. Oh, what's going on here? You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. Well, it's not good, is it? It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Butterbeer. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Something's not right. Children the only brutes we usually have to deal with. Uh, <coughs> that's something that should be happening. A timeline. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Well, I could try. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Nice. Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Okay, talk to Natty outside the three broomsticks. Is it getting dark? I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Rookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on, and I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. 
Let's return to common room for the night to access the map. Select Hogwarts map button to switch to Hogwarts map. Right, so you can click left and right on the D-pad, but because this is obviously telling me I have to do it this way, I have to do it this way. Um, and then we want, what do we want? Uh, common room. Fast travel to, to your common room. Where is my common room? Is it south wing? Nope. Even for a common room. So our common room is in Grand Staircase. So Grand Staircase, Ravenclaw Common Room. Okay. I'll probably forget that, but I'll try and remember. to Hogsmeade quest complete. You've got an owl. You wasn't there before, was you? Right, well, I think on that note, uh, we're going to call it an end of an episode because we've been going a little while, almost 50 minutes. Um, we'll do this first, shall we? Professor Fig, come and see me. I've discovered something in the lock, lock, locket, in the locket we found in Grindcott. Okay. Yeah. Well, like I said, we will call it an end of an episode now, and I'm actually loving this. I'm going to be doing um, more and more and more of this. I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow be honest but never mind I'm in work for four nights and then I'm off for three nights and then I'm in for five nights so that's going to be a bit of a rough one um, but I'm going to try and get a bunch of these episodes recorded so that I can then have them uploaded for you guys whilst I'm working basically I'll try and get one uploaded every or I'll schedule it to come out every couple of days um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I shall see you uh, in the next episode. What's going to happen, we don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Bye.